About 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came in the flesh and led mankind to the path of keeping God's commandments of the New Covenant. In Luke chapter 4, He kept the Sabbath day. In Matthew chapter 26, He kept the Passover. In John chapter 7, He kept the Feast of Tabernacles. In Acts chapter 2, all the disciples who received Jesus' teaching also kept the day of Pentecost. While Christ was on this earth, He perfectly kept all the feasts of the New Covenant. Whoever claims to live in Him, what does the Bible say they must do? They must walk as Jesus did. However, do churches today keep God's commandments? It is unfortunate that they are all following the commandments of men. They place the Ten Commandments in a frame or engraved on a wooden block and hang them on a wall. However, what is the use of looking at it every day? Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Although it's written as the fourth of God's Ten Commandments, aren't they still keeping the wrong day? Who will bring us the Sabbath day of the New Covenant? Who will bring us the Passover of life? Who will come to this earth and give us the tree of life which was lost in Eden? There are tens of thousands of questions throughout the Bible. What is the solution to all these problems? Don't we already know by studying the Bible, they will all be answered and fulfilled only when the second coming Christ comes? This is why He Himself came to this earth in the last days, teaching us and proclaiming all the commandments of the new covenant that is the law of life only in Zion. As you have already studied, wasn't the law of the old covenant proclaimed on Mount Sinai and the law of the new covenant proclaimed in Zion? Now that the way of life for mankind has been established in Zion, we follow that way of life which has led us to God the Father. By this, we have also come to meet the reality of the Most Holy Place by following Father's Holy Teaching in which He said, I follow Mother. Didn't we all meet the requirements to receive the complete forgiveness of sins? There are numerous churches in the world but none of them keep God's commandments except for the Church of God. It is amazing. Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. This calls for patient endurance on the part of the saints who obey God's commandments and remain faithful to Jesus. When we say, remain faithful to Jesus, it means that we remain faithful to the second coming Jesus. The first half of the verse also mentions about keeping God's commandments. We keep the Sabbath day commandment, the Passover commandment, the seven feasts and three times commandment, the wearing of the veil commandment, and the commandment to baptize people in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us all be blessed by regarding the commandments that God has given us as more precious and preach this truth to all people.